Sometimes clothes have a tough life. They have to resist mechanical abrasion, bleaching by sunlight, and many times of washing. Nevertheless, the colors of the clothes hardly change. But where do these powerful dyes come from? For more than 60 years, the industry has been producing dyes using concentrated acids and nitrite. But mixing traditional dyes can be a highly explosive process. This is why the components of the dyes are cooled down during the production. The downside? The cooling requires a lot of energy. Another ecological problem is the discharge of dye during its production or application. Up to 15% of the colorants are lost in these processes and released into the environment. Biochemist Estelle Hainaut now wants to study fungi to search for new natural sources of colorants. Eno is from the Catholic University of Louvain in Belgium, where she works within the EU-funded research project, SOFID. The aim of the project is to develop a new process for the dye production. The fungi have been imported from the Solomon Islands, French Guiana and Cuba. They produce special enzymes that are needed to create the eco-dyes. The enzymes are proteins produced by the fungus. They are nanocatalysts. That means they are very small particles that are able to accelerate reactions. To extract these nanocatalysts, the scientists cut the fungi into small pieces and put them into a liquid that contains nutrients. By keeping the specimen in a warm chamber, the fungi grow and release the desired nano-sized proteins into the liquid. When the fluid with the proteins is added to an acidic solution, the transparent liquid turns into colorful dyes. There are no explosive reactions and no additional energy is needed. What's happened? The small enzymes help to trigger a chemical reaction between two different ingredients. The solution turns red or yellow or purple, depending on the components. We think that we can produce all colors of the rainbow with this process. So far we succeeded in creating yellow, orange, red, different browns, a little bit of green, but no blue. The new dyes are applied directly to textiles. The colorants possess chemical features so they can adhere to the fibers of polymede, wool or silk. This technique makes it unnecessary to add extra chemicals that can pollute water and provoke allergies. First tests show the dyes are resistant to washing and mechanical abrasion. But in sunlight, the eco dyes do fade to some degree. The weak light resistance that our colors have for the moment forces us to apply the colorants primarily to clothes that are not exposed to sunlight, such as underwear. But we think that with further research, we will be able to create new colorants that are also more light resistant.